You're pumping on the internet today, that big news. Liking this video, you can leave your like now. For you who are already enrolled on this channel, we thank your company every day. And you're new here, you can sign up, because here we have news every day, updated in real time. Now, let's get this bombastic news. Called. Eric Braden criticized Eva Longoria after she talked about her experience in The Young and the Restless. Eva Longoria, you just made derogatory comments about daytime actors. Braden, 81, tweeted on Sunday, March 19. You just weren't good enough to survive the pressures of this medium. You were lucky enough to get into that housewife program. You did a show in 8 to 12 days, with mediocre but lascivious dialogue. He added, our actresses would run around you. And they did so. From Robert, De Niro, to whoever they are, many of them started in the middle that you denigrated. This shows a total lack of class. Braden, who has played Victor Newman on The Young and The Restless since 1980, was upset by Longoria's Sunday interview in Who's Talking to Chris Wallace. During her segment on CNN, Desperate Housewife student, 48 years old, reflected on her time playing Isabella Branna on the CBS soap opera from 2001 to 2003. When I got young and the restless, I didn't pay enough to live as an actor. So I kept being headhunter and young and the restless, Longoria said. And I kept the fact that I was in young and the restless for my clients, because they didn't want, like, a dumb actress dealing with their accounts. The host of Searching for Mexico remembered a client realizing that she was an actress. And once one of my clients said, you look like a girl I saw in a soap opera. And I say, no, I don't know who it is. I was the opposite of a publicist's dream, he joked. I was like, don't tell anyone I'm on that show. Because I was still making more money on my daily work. Wow. I want to remind you something. Don't forget to watch all the videos on the channel, there's a lot of content that's bombing. That's why you leave your like, you'll always be remembered by YouTube for new videos. So now, let's go back to continuing the news. Following Braden's comments, some fans responded to her tweets and defended Longoria, noting that she appeared to be talking about being underpaid as an actress. Braden, however, held his position firmly. Come on, the whole content of this segment was embarrassing about your passage through YNR and Housewives. What didn't you understand about it, he told a Twitter user on Sunday. The actor then doubled on Monday, March 20. Well, it's the obvious embarrassment she feels for her unsuccessful attempt. That's what I resent, he told another commentator. Be proud of your previous efforts. But you're right, there's this sense of what we do, entertaining millions of people worldwide daily, as somehow less than. When another fan tagged Longoria to demand an apology, Braden said it was not necessary. She doesn't need to apologize, he wrote. I just reacted to hearing it while watching CNN and Chris Wallace, which I respect. But when the medium of soap is being denigrated by someone, I go after them. This is the hardest medium for an actor, period. Be proud of it. This world of celebrities is fantastic. One piece of news more bombastic than the other. But we want to know your opinion. Leave it in the comments, it's very good to know what you're thinking. A hug, and until the next news.